All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music and real meltdowns uh, on stage and doing it in real time for a few real people out there, out here, just like you and just like me. So Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden, he just lost his mind at a concert. It's it's entertaining, right? Another slow news day in the world of classic rock, but we have to we have to put out some quality content, so thank you for being here. Uh, before I talk about uh, Bruce Dickinson, um, here's an LP, an actual vinyl. Yes, a double album from this band that I bought a few years ago, Dream Child. This is not like Iron Maiden. It's more like Dio, obviously, than Iron Maiden. But um, it's pretty good if you like this style. Um, yes, it's dark. It's a little bit creepy. And, uh, you know... <laughs> This wasn't my best purchase, but if you like this kind of music, and I'm not saying it's bad, that's um, I'm just saying this isn't really my wheelhouse, but I, I really wanted the vinyl, right? And it's a double vinyl album. I don't think the vinyl is available anymore, and it's really hard to even get this in the shot, okay? But you see what the band is look, looking like there, and um, Dream Child, you can, I think, still find this uh, probably only on CD, but um, it's a two record set. So how cool is that, right? So um, Bruce Dickinson, who is a cool dude, who probably should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And again, this isn't um, my favorite style of music per se, but I really respect Bruce Dickinson and Iron Maiden. But uh, a couple days ago, uh, Bruce was doing a concert in Brazil and he was screaming at fans who were smoking. <laughs> They're smoking. You know, it's because all the old geezer rock star people are getting to a certain age now where things bother them. You know, when they were younger, they didn't care. They were smoking and drinking and cussing and partying and doing all that stuff. But now, you know, it's like, hey, you shut up. I'm trying to perform. Hey, you put out that cigarette. So anyway, it says the Iron Man frontman who is out on tour supporting his recent solo album called The Mandrake Project. I should have referred to my resident Iron Maiden fan, uh, Tony, who provides me with a lot of uh, good material for this channel, apparently um, became irate. He became irate when air quality began affecting his performance. And again, we're talking about Bruce Dickinson. Um, of course, I'm trying to make this uh, family friendly, but this is what he uh, says here. I can't effing breathe. Tanya, who is uh, Bruce's bassist, she can't breathe, the singer declared. Um, the metal legend then directed his attention to one fan in particular. You, with the effing vape over there. Yeah, it's not you, but please. Do that outside. It's, he says it's not you, but can you do that outside? So the guy's vaping, right? I, I don't understand why they allow this inside the venue, but it's Brazil, and, you know, the rules are a little bit different in Brazil. He says, you know, if you can't stay for five minutes without having an effing addiction, <laughs> you can... See, apparently, the, the whole video of this incident, if you want to. He goes on to say, I do apologize for coughing. Some of you effers are smoking, Dickinson says. I can't sing if you're going to smoke, all right? Tanya's coughing her guts out. I'm coughing. My effing wife is going blarg, blarg. I don't know what that is. I guess that's kind of a, a cough sound. And it's all kind of dis disgusting, all right? But if you want to be disgusting, do it outside, all right? Not in here. My throat's got work to do. You pay good money to hear me effing sing, not go blarg, blarg. So they do, I think, have a link to this that you could find on YouTube. This was uh, transcribed by a rock publication known as Blabbermouth. You may have heard of them, right? Um, look, this is just another instance of people it's a combination of things you know to, to do my cutting edge analysis here which is just my lame take on things um 
when you go to a concert, he's right. You should probably focus on the music. But see, people for like, I don't know how many years since this started, since the 1960s, they want to have an experience. And that experience goes beyond just the music. The experience is how can I self-medicate to enjoy this show even at a higher level? Hence the word getting high. I'm getting high, but you're really getting stupid is what you're getting. This isn't helping. And Bruce Dickinson, again, not a young man anymore, looking out at the audience like the old man he is from the stage and telling everybody where they should go, right? Leave. If you're going to vape, leave. You know, it's very entertaining, actually. I just think what's cool about this is he's trying to actually sing. People need to focus on the music, right? And and there are other people in this industry. Don Henley, who could be faking it out there now, so I don't know why he would even care, doesn't want people using their phones to take pictures, to record the show and upload it. Maybe that's why Don Henley doesn't want people to do that because then people on YouTube do their analysis and they find out, holy crap, Batman, maybe the Eagles aren't really live, okay? And I'm thinking Bruce Dickinson isn't mailing it in. He's actually trying to sing, so good for him for giving it the old college try. And... um for, you know, just future reference, if you're going to go see uh, Bruce Dickinson, you might want to leave the vape in the car, okay? Or just don't even bring it with you. Um, he's talking about people with addictions. And yes, okay, a little ironic coming from somebody who's within an industry that is riddled with addiction, right? Riddled. But <laughs> give him credit. You know, maybe he's li lived a clean and sober life. I don't know that much about Bruce Dickinson. I do know that Iron Maiden probably deserves the Hall of Fame. But they were they were displaced by a tribe called Quest and Mary J. Blige this year. So, you know, maybe next year. I don't know. Maybe they'll get some kind of a musical excellence award. Unless they already did, and I missed that one. But I'm pretty sure that they were nominated a year or two ago. And... It didn't go anywhere. So it should go somewhere. They are a revolutionary band. They didn't need radio to do what they did, which I think is amazing. They probably never charted a song. They may have put a couple of songs on rock radio stations, probably in the early 1980s. But that's being generous. <laughs> that's being really generous. Iron Maiden was a thing that just, it spread like a virus, okay? A nice virus, a catchy, happy virus. And, uh, you know, young college age or high school type age uh, people were just digging on Iron Maiden. 98% uh, of the people were dudes. The chicks weren't really into Iron Maiden. I know that might sound sexist, but it's just the way it was. I'm not sure if the audience has changed over the years, but again, Iron Maiden, legendary, should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And Bruce Dickinson, he deserves this. He can complain as much as he wants. He's earned the right, okay? All right, so here's Dream Child. Since I was doing Iron Maiden, I figured I'd... This is like the closest thing I have to something that resembles Iron Maiden. It's not. Again, it's more like Dio than Iron Maiden. But uh, you can check it out. It's a way to promote music and talk about a music legend all rolled into one tasty video. All right, folks, um, I am done with this video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell, you know, a little drop down thing to get all notifications for videos. That's very helpful. Uh, also, there's YouTube memberships, which um, are doing pretty good. Uh, we have patrons who are some of the nicest people. And also um, buy me a coffee, which is great. Coffee costs a lot of money these days. So if you're going to buy me a coffee, the $5 at Starbucks is not going a long way. But, you know, I'll take it. I'll go down the road and find a 7-Eleven and make my own coffee. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you soon.